Hey, how are you guys doing? Okay, good, good. So today I wanted to discuss, I've been getting a lot of comments and people asking, why do I say, write Taiji and sometimes I write Tai Chi? What's the purpose behind what's going on with that? Is there a difference between them and uh, why am I doing that? And you notice in my, the name of the channel is Tai Chi Alive. So why am I calling it that and not calling it Tai Chi Alive? Well, there is a reason behind it. Uh, they do mean the same thing, but let me get into as far as the, uh, you know, the explanation to why. So when you uh, hear of that word Chi, uh, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of that word Chi, right? We think of the Chi, like when we talk about Chi going through the body, and a lot of times it's written C-H-I, right? So uh, when we talk about Tai Chi Chuan, it is not describing the Chi. That word Chi is not Chi of the energy body. It's a different word. So that's the, re that's the main reason why we're changing here. When we are talking about Tai Chi Chuan, what that means is grand ultimate or supreme ultimate. Tai Chi, supreme ultimate. Chuan means fist or hand. So supreme, grand ultimate, supreme ultimate fist. So it has nothing to do with uh, chi, grand chi or anything. It's supreme ultimate fist. Now, when you hear, when you see that word wuji, which if you've been training with me for any amount of time, you're very familiar with that word. But wuji means ultimate nothingness. Wu is like no or non. So it's the absolute nothingness or the you know, grand nothingness. So the, there's a difference between wuji, which is grand ultimate nothingness, and then you have taiji, which is the uh, grand ultimate everything. So those two are talking about something quite different than qi, qi or chi. So uh, that's why I wanted to present taiji is probably a more correct way as far as just learning this stuff uh, that you understanding that it's talking about uh, that your, your uh, Taiji is the, when we are doing Taiji, we are embracing the domain of polarity. We are entering into the world of yin and yang and movement and, uh, and uh, non-movement of uh, day and night and life and death and rising and falling and all these wondrous things that are happening in our world. It's the polarities, uh, the duality of worlds, right? It's everything. The, uh, the, the Tai Chi uh, scholars, the classics, they use the word, the 10,000 things, which 10,000 things is a, is a way of saying uh, infinite amount of things. In the Tao Te Ching, it talks about the 10,000 things. And it just means the infinite amount of things that are here out with, you know, all around us. We have all these things and it all has, everything has its opposite. That's what we're talking about with Taiji. When we talk about Wuji, we talk about the absence of everything. So it's this great stillness, this great, like the great abyss. It's emptiness, just sheer and utter emptiness and hollowness. Qi is this energy that flows through our body. That's, so those two, see how it's mutually on its own? It's not discussing those topics. So that's why I use Tai Ji Chuan and Wu Ji as opposed to Tai Chi and Wu Qi. Now, you might see me using that quite a bit when I'm doing my videos and stuff. I use Tai Chi, C-H-I. The reason why I do that is just really for that word written T-A-I-C-H-I is more acceptable in, our, in this culture uh, and recognizable, so that's why I use it. So, but ultimately, I like that word T-A-I-J-I. So uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I didn't confuse you more than, uh, than you were before, but that's why we're using Tai Chi 
instead of Tai Chi. All right. All right, guys. Take care.